Uncle Sam says, watch your back. <laughs> in 2004, George W. Bush won with 286 electoral votes. John Kerry won 251. When you look at the map in 2004, and then you look at the pre-Civil War map, you really notice that the two maps are very similar. Blue was the Union, and the gray were the rebels, and, the, and everything in the center were territories. If you follow the territories, link them up with the original Confederacy, you, you pretty much have the map as it has stood for the last few years, that there are a lot of ancient impulses that haven't changed. Each candidate has to figure out how he's going to get to 270. That's the magic number. If Obama should keep all of the Kerry states, he needs 19 more votes. So how would he get those? He'd have to mount a raid into some of those Bush states. First, he can go to Iowa. That's the caucus that made him. A lot of people in Iowa like Obama, and he loves them, and he's sort of their baby. Seven electoral votes. The tough times, industries, old smokestack industries, the, the general unhappiness in the country and the specific unhappiness in Ohio. We have Ohio. That's 20 electoral votes. And then there's Colorado. We paint it purple because it could go either way. Maybe Obama's demographic. That's nine votes. Any two of these states, and he's sort of there. But you have McCain rating on the blue states as well. So what can he do? Well, let's look at the Kerry states. Remember Pennsylvania, how strongly they were for Hillary. Maybe McCain can grab those voters. That's 21 electoral votes. Then there's Michigan. The Democrats were really demoralized by the whole primary process, as well as the possibility of McCain tapping Mitt Romney, who's kind of a native son. That's 17. That's 29 so far for McCain. You have a landslide on your hands. But Obama could raid further. He could go into Virginia, say, uh, with maybe Jim Webb on the ticket. That's 13. Or even stranger would be Georgia with Sam Nunn on the ticket. That'd be 15. So it's possible that we have a new map, that it's the end to the Bush Rove map and maybe even an end to the Civil War. Add it up. Oh.